A Jingle Bells Telethon weekend is a whirlwind of activity and emotion. From the setup of the program itself, with all of its technical aspects and complicated production, then there's the five-hour telethon, the variety applied to not only the type of act, but those performing as well. Miss Minnesota, Brianna Drevlo, added to the talent pool with her Miss America pageant piece, Rhapsody in Blue. Ten different phone bank shifts, each taking donations and challenges. Then there's the donations themselves. $200 they raise recycling cans, people. Whether large or small checks, or something like the 30 kids' bikes donated by Jake's Bikes. And you could go to the Arctic and maybe see... A few fun clips were mixed in as well, and the end result was close to $80,000 at the end of the show. At the heart of the telethon are the 850 plus food and toy baskets. Toys were sorted, gathered, and selected on Saturday morning. And 24 hours later, the assembly line of food items made their way into the predetermined baskets amid a convoy of pallets. Mike Schreiner with the Jingle Bells Foundation said the deliveries went out at a record pace Sunday. Well, it's uh, pretty amazing because usually this time we still have out-of-town routes that we're trying to get sent out, but we already have the out-of-towns out the door, and now we're working on the Alec routes. So we had a lot of people show up, and it's been going really great this morning. So good, in fact, that by noon, nearly every basket was out the door. As amazing as the pace were the people responsible for it the hundreds of volunteers. This grandmother-granddaughter team love this cause. I absolutely love this. this. This is the most amazing, this just brings in the holiday. And what does her granddaughter Kylie like about it? Um, that I get to spend time with my grandma. For Mike Lloyd, he's been a part of everything this week. His wife yeah. Becky is the chairperson for the event, so through marriage, his help was needed often. And he doesn't mind one bit. Um, seeing the community come together like this for such a great cause is really amazing. and. Uh, you know, just being a part of it and, and the, the great feeling you get from helping other people is really amazing. To finish the job, all of those 850 baskets needed to be delivered. There are three different sizes and a well-orchestrated routing system. Hundreds of children's toys to be paired up with the food. But something that's not calculable is the motivation to help. Sherry Schaefer and her friend Melissa Justice took on quite the load. A trailer full of baskets and an SUV full of toys. They were on a mission to spread Christmas cheer. Merry Christmas. All right, thank you guys. Yep. Yep. Thank you. You guys have a Merry Christmas. You see, for Sherry, she was once on the receiving end of a Jingle Bells basket. Well, we received many years ago, and so now it's just my turn to give back. The end result are those who have been helped by this year's effort. For Jim and his wife, circumstances out of their control make this delivery not just sustaining food, it's a delivery of a little hope. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It means a lot to me and uh, my family. We just can't say enough of it. Okay. So we wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. For The Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Krakowski.